dun 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 What's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today we're going to be printing this little guy. This is the Terminator T800 from the Terminator movie franchise. Uh, I picked up this model on Thingiverse. You can actually find the model link down below in the description, along with all my contact information on social networks and all that other cool stuff. I urge you to come over and follow me and interact with me. It's a lot of fun. But I've wanted to print this guy for a long time, and I printed him in a new material called ColorFab XT. Now, this is a beta material. This is the translucent green. And it's phenomenal material because it has such a high melting point. I actually printed this at 260 C and it really makes for a very, very strong durable material, even when it's printed very thin with no infill like this is. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get this party started. Bam! All right, guys, so here we have the model open in Kura right here, the one that you can get from Thingiverse. Again, the link is down in the description of the video if you guys want to try this yourself. Um, you can see that the model doesn't fill the full build volume of the printer, and it says it only takes 16 hours to print. Well, that's also at 120 millimeters per second. So we're going to slow that down to 50 because I've already experimented with faster speeds, and it seems like I got the best results with the ColorFab XT at 50 millimeters a second. Um, at 260 C on the print head temperature. So if we come around here, we definitely want to make this guy bigger. So let's go ahead and upscale him to, I think it was about 1.35, 36, 37. I want to see how big we can get it here. Oh, 39 is too much. So we're going to go for 1.38 times original scale. And I also want to rotate it out so that when we're printing it, we can actually see what's going on. So let's go ahead and do a rotation. So it's facing the front here. That looks about right. So now we've got our very, very, very large head there. All right, so you can see up here, Kura's processing uh, the model to tell us approximately how long it'll take to print, and then we can save it off to the thumb drive. Again, 50 millimeters per second, you see we're using no infill, and under the advanced options here, the travel speed's fine, we'll leave that at 100. Uh, infill speed doesn't matter because we're not doing any infill. And the temperature on the Ultimaker 2 is actually set on the printer, not in the G-code like it was with the Ultimaker V1. So I've already got the printer set up for 260C on this material. All right, well, there she is. Let's take it over to the printer and uh, hope the power doesn't go out in 30 hours. <laughs> All right, so here you have the T800 fresh off the Ultimaker. Um, I did do a little bit of cleanup on this side. As you can see, I rotated around. You can see this is pretty clean in here uh, around these, but as you rotate it around, you'll see that there is some stringing on this side. You can see like this little strings coming off the sides in here. This is actually pretty typical. You can actually uh, make it a lot less pronounced playing around with the settings on your printer and get it just right. But for a first print using this material, I am amazed at the detail that came out and the type of overhang it did. Like if you look up around here, there was no support material used in that. And these are like completely straight sideways overhangs. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys now what little bit of cleanup you do with the file just to get this looking really nice. <laughs> 
All right, for cleanup work, I just use these little hand files. You can see these are HDX. I believe I got them from Harbor Freight and I've got a round one. I've got a flat one. I've got one that's triangular. I mean, I just have a nice little assortment of these and I find they work good. You can also use an X-Acto knife for cleaning a lot of the stuff up, but I prefer to use the files. All right, well, let's clean this up. Now, most of these little boogers, you can just literally scrape off. They're not holding on, but by a thread. Now you can also use pliers to get into some of the little nooks and crannies to pull stuff out that you freed with the file. All right, so we're done with the initial cleanup. I just took those files and spent a couple of minutes filing around and getting all the little stringies off. You can still see there's some little bumps and some little rough patches, but those could be easily cleaned up with sandpaper. And if you want to spend your time, you could actually get in here with a little razor set and really, really clean this out and make this completely sharp. Now, if you intend on painting it, a lot of this stuff can actually go, you know, left alone. But if you want to leave it like this, I would recommend going through and you can even wet sand this stuff to a shine, but I'll save that for another video. Give it another go around. You can see this print took 30 hours. Yeah, it's a long time and it's hollow. And the thing is, I didn't even have to print the perimeter very thick because this uh, ColorFab XT material is absolutely durable. I mean, it is strong stuff considering this thing is completely hollow. If I was printing this in PLA, I would have definitely done thicker walls and I would have done some infill. But just look at that detail and just realize no support was used. The only thing that was used was to create this little bit of a raft down here. Now, one of the reasons I printed it in translucent green was so that I could do this. You can see there's a little hole in the bottom so you can put a light in there. I'm actually gonna use my little 500 milliwatt green laser and shined up in there. It's my little wicked laser. And I think this is gonna make a cool lamp. I think I'm gonna get some high intensity LEDs and put them up inside of here and uh, mount it above my monitors. I think this will look really, really cool. Well guys, there you have it, the T800 Skull. It took nearly 30 hours to print this on the Ultimaker V2 at that speed. I tried faster speeds, but I encountered some problems with the model becoming detached because the expansion and retraction of the material as it was cooling was causing it to interfere with the print head. So I found 50 millimeters per second, it's 260C was the sweet spot, and uh, it turned out fantastic. I, I absolutely couldn't be happier because every time I print with PLA, um, with these kinds of overhangs, I don't get any detail at all. So I was really, really happy to see this turn out this good. So guys, let me know what you think. Come hit me up on Twitter. Leave the comments down below. I'd really like to know if you guys enjoyed this video and printing this type of thing. And uh, let me know if you'd like a follow-up video where I actually put some LEDs in this guy and light it up and actually mount it somewhere in the nerd cave because I do think it's really cool. And it's stuff like this that just is mind-blowing and really opens your eyes to the capabilities of a 3D printer. Yeah, it took 30 hours to print. I realize that's a long time. The end results speak for themselves. Totally worth it. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. Till next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.